everyone, so thanks for visiting. This is your reading for June the 25th to July the 1st. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe. You know I always say this, um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. Um, only if you would like to, not if you wouldn't like to, and only if it's nice. No, I'm joking, I don't mind. Um, just, But if you're a troll, please don't um, comment. Um, so yes, I've got everything ready. So um, yes, I'm going to start your reading for Cancer. The first card you have your past is um, the Four of Pentacles. Um, yes, I'm seeing this. Is, I'm actually seeing this is about you working, working on something. Um, you were very busy at this time, definitely, but um, you could have been maybe stuck on the details of something. Really, really stuck on staring at these details rather than the bigger picture. Because if you look at this man, he's um, facing, he has his back to the city, so he's stuck where he is, he can't move, and everything that means anything is happening behind him with this great big city. But he's not facing it, he can't see what's going on. So you're stuck on these details and um, Yeah, stuck on the details. I keep on seeing that. Sorry, I'm pausing. I'm just trying to kind of think about what this is. Um, yes, you couldn't see the whole picture. You're missing the important things because um, you're just stuck on these details. But I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing someone who maybe wanted you to be preoccupied and stuck where you were. Somebody wanted this to happen. That's why I'm getting confused because I'm seeing another person in here. They wanted you to be in this position. This is around work, um, and I've seen, yes, you are working hard, so you know that this is probably around work. And um, someone's very, very ambitious, or they were, and it's like they were trying to get you to do this, or they were happy for you to um, give your attention to these details. Um, yes, he has his back to the city, so this person was very, very happy for you to be in this state and not see the big picture, just concentrate on these details. I know I've said that before, but I'm just kind of working through what I'm seeing. Um, they wanted you to be focused on these little trivial things so that it looked like they were focusing on more important things. That's what I'm seeing. Um, if this resonates, um, just be careful. I know this is in your past, but be careful of who you have around you, around your workplace. I know that you know this already, probably. Um, think very carefully about why you've been asked to do whatever this thing is or certain tasks or whatever it is. This person loves being seen as important. They want everyone to see they're important. The way they do that is they make everyone else or they try to make other people look unimportant. Um, so be very, very careful. Um, you might have to be very careful about how you approach this. I'm seeing this as quite a, a, a devious, difficult person. The next card you have you passed is the Hierophant. So yes, the Hierophant can be about organized religion, following rules without even realizing why you were doing it sometimes. Sometimes we just follow these things. And I'm seeing that, yes, this person doesn't play by the normal rules. Everyone else plays by the normal rules of the workplace. They want to be fair. They want to do this. They want to do everything right. Well, not everyone, but I mean, a lot of people do. You do. But this person doesn't play by these rules and they rely on other people to play by the rules to get what they want because they know that they don't. But they don't want people to see that. It's very, very devious. I hope this all makes sense. And um, yes, they were, try they were expecting you to always do the right thing, the so-called right thing or the done thing so that they could go about what they wanted to do. And the right thing, obviously, if you're given a task to do, you try and do it and you try and finish it, do your best and all of that kind of thing. But they wanted to give you that task. Again, they wanted you to have that task so that they could get the bigger task, the better task, the one that has all the fireworks all around it, the one that attracts a lot of attention and everyone says, oh, you're amazing. It's that kind of situation. I hope this is making sense to you. Um, and again, be very careful, be very careful around your workplace. This person's relying on you to do what you're told, all of that kind of thing. I'm not saying you should, you should jump up and down and, and get angry and make a scene in the workplace, obviously not. Although if you're in Aries like me, you might do that, but I'm not that bad. But you might, um, you might actually be okay about this, but if this, 
if this is in this reading, you're probably not. It probably means you're not okay about this, but you're just not sure how to actually deal with the situation. It's a very difficult situation because when you're in the workplace, you have to kind of try and be diplomatic and it can be very difficult. Um, so I hope you can find, if you haven't already, I know this is in your past, but I hope you can find some sort of diplomatic way, diplomatic way, I should say, to approach this um, thing because this is a very, very tricky person. Um, the last card you have your past is the Five of Swords. Yes, look at this. Tricky person. Devious person. Person who wants to take other people's things. Person who wants to take the credit for other people's work. All of that kind of thing in the Five of Swords. I'll move that up. Look at how he is. He's just, these other people are walking away. He's grabbing all their swords and they're just, oh, I give up on this person. I can't do anything else. And look at the look on his face, how smug he is and devious he is. So yes, this, whoever this is, this can be a very manipulative person. And yes, usually people who are like this feel that they're not good enough inside themselves. That's what's behind it all. They're lacking in some area. They know they are. So instead of just doing their work and letting that show how good they are, they like to do all these devious games, manipulating all of this kind of thing. They want to look better than they actually are. You know that. And they know that too. They know that deep down. Um, and again, if this resonates and you're still going through this thing with this person, I really hope you're not because this, I get a horrible feeling around this. But if you are, um, again, think very carefully about how you're going to approach this person or this problem. This person is not reasonable. They're an unreasonable person. They do not play by the normal rules. They play by some other terrible bizarre rules so you never know where you are with them it's a little bit like um they might be like this in this way and then you think they're like that and then behind your back they're like the, another thing you just never they're very devious you never know where you are with this person the first card you have for your present is a six of cups um yes i'm seeing family here someone in your family uh, this is someone who could be advising you about something, advising you on something. Um, this is someone who you might not normally come to for advice. This is someone who you think might not understand you if you have a problem. It might be someone who's a lot older than you. Maybe they're from another generation. They don't understand um, what you're going through. They might not understand things like technology. It might be someone like that. And also, I'm not seeing you asking them for this advice. This is them volunteering this advice to you. So this isn't like um, unsolicited advice that's annoying. It's not like someone telling you, I'll tell you what to do. You do this and you think, well, I haven't asked you and I don't want your opinion. It's not that kind of thing. Um, I sound very bitter and twisted, don't I? I'm not. Um, Yes, this is a kind, this is very kind advice. This person cares for you. This person really loves you. This is very sweet. This is a very sweet person. Again, probably older than you. Um, and also it might not be the most useful advice. It's probably advice that isn't very helpful to you. But um, this is really kind. This is really caring. And um, Yes, even though it won't help you practically, whatever this is, you're going to benefit from the feeling you get from this person. This person's going to give you a lot of um, love, a lot of care, a lot of kindness, and you're just going to be feeling really good about this. It's, it's, it's a really nice thing. So that's how you're going to benefit, not practically, but um, you're going to benefit from their care, just feeling like you're cared for. It's a lovely, beautiful, warm feeling, very sweet person. And... Um, Yes, they might not understand your problems at all, but they care and that's the main thing and that's what you're getting from that. The next card you have your present is judgment. So yes, I'm seeing here that you might have been carrying around some, carrying a torch for someone a little bit, not a great big enormous torch, not a great, oh, would you stop that noise outside please? Not that great big enormous, not like a great big Olympic torch or something like that. This was like a little torch, just a tiny one in your heart. This is someone who you let go of physically, you let go of them mentally. There was still a little tiny piece of them in your heart, or there is at this time, that's what I'm seeing. But at this time, you're finally letting go of this person. You're making a decision to do this. And I'm seeing... Um, 
yes, this is a decision you're making. You're, you're finally completely letting go of this person. And um, yes, this is final. Deep down you knew that this decision, once you made it, was going to be final. So that's why you hadn't made this until this time, because you were thinking, maybe there's still a chance, maybe there's still a little piece that thinks they might come back, or I might talk to them again or something. And I think at this time you're suddenly realizing, look, I don't really care if they do or they don't anymore. And I thought I'd never feel like this. I thought I would always be missing them. I thought I'd always have that little piece in my heart waiting for them to come and kind of get their key and open up the lock and open my heart up again. But at this time, you're finally realizing, I don't feel like that anymore. And you're ready, you're ready to move on. And you're waiting for this. You weren't doing this for a long time, but now you are ready. And, and this is where the judgment card comes in because the judge's decision is final. That's what they say in court. The judge's decision is final. This decision that you're making is final. It's your final decision and you're ready, you're ready. The last card you have here present is a three of swords, yes. Um, yes. You know this is the right thing to do. You know it's the right time to let go of this person. Um, and you've already physically done that. There's still going to be a little bit of heart. It's not huge. It's just kind of like a little bit of regret for what you thought you might have with them. You still had this little bit of hope for a long time that you might have a bit of a future with them. You might have that. You, you didn't let yourself dream about this, but it was like, yes, there's that little bit of hope there. And then this is when you suddenly, or you, not suddenly, but you finally let go of this. There's always going to be a little bit of hurt there when this happens. If you're, even if you're the one letting go, it's normal. It's normal. Um, you're going to move forward from this. This is going to help you. Making this final step is going to help you feel better in the long run. And you know this. You know this had to be done at this time. The first card you have, your future, is the full. I love the full. Fantastic. This is fantastic. Excuse me, I love this card. Excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. I'm just swallowing. Um, yes, look at this. You took this step. Oh, you're taking this step in your present with the judgment card and the three of swords. You're moving on from this person. And this enables you to be the fool. Here you are in your future. You are the fool. You're ready to leap into so many different amazing opportunities that you never had before. You always held this little bit out for this person or you held out for this person. You didn't want to leap into things because you're, oh, if I do that, what if they come back and then I won't be able to do this or something like, it might have not even been, um, it might have even been in your subconscious. It might not have even been you thinking, oh, I can't do this if they come back and all that. It might have just been in your subconscious stopping you because you had that piece of them in your heart. But now that's gone. Look at you. You're going to be the fool. You're going to move forward into so many different areas. And I'm getting this beautiful feeling of freedom. You're going to be able to leap off things, get into all these different opportunities that you find. You're not even going to think about it. You're going to just jump into a lot of things. I'm also seeing, you know, if you look at this fool, he's holding a white rose as well. So this symbolizes freshness, purity, all of these beautiful, pure things. So your heart is not going to be bitter, even though this was very difficult and it was very hurtful. Once you get through that and you're into the fool, you're into fool mode, you're not going to be feeling bitter. You're not at all. You're going to be feeling very pure of heart. You're just going to let them go and say, well, I wish them well. I don't feel bitter at all. That is a fantastic way to be. And that's going to give you this beautiful freedom and, and allow you to move into all these great things, these fantastic possibilities. The next card you have your future is, yes, the devil, which looks like the opposite. Um, but yes, I'm not seeing this as negative. And I'm not just saying that. Don't be mad at me. I'm not just trying to make it look all nice and sweet and lovely. Uh, I'm seeing that this is what you let go of. Now, this was not a bad person. This person was not the devil, but they were unhealthy in some way. They had some unhealthy thing about them. Maybe they were physically unhealthy. Maybe they had mental health problems. That doesn't mean they're the devil. They might have addiction problems. They might have had some kind of physical health problems that was kind of a disease or something like that. Now, 
I'm not saying that's evil or bad to have all of these problems. It's just something that can keep you stuck in a certain way. And you were for a while changed to this person. Um, and what happened was when you just decided in the judgment card, you broke free, you broke these chains. And that's how you are at this time. You've broken the chains and you're ready for the fall. So this is fantastic. You've done something very, very difficult here. This is something that not many people can do. They cannot let go of someone totally, unchain themselves from a very, very difficult situation. It might have even been a codependent situation. Break free from that and then move forth with a pure heart, with a, um, a non-bitter heart. And that's how you're going to be. This is so perfect. Nobody else or not many people do this at all. The last card you have, your future, is the page of wands. So I'm seeing um, or I'm hearing, I could do this. I can do this. So yes, you're broken free. You can do anything. Um, I can do this. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing. Uh, you're going to start getting a lot of your energy back. And I'm also seeing um, ready to do all of these things you want to do in the fall. There might be some new business projects. There might be some new opportunities. You might start doing a lot of things. You might start getting into fitness. I'm seeing that as well. You might start running or you might start doing something to get healthy because you're locked in this unhealthy situation before and now you want to do the opposite. You want everything to be the complete opposite to the way it was. This is fantastic. I'm also seeing a message and I'm feeling a lot of excitement around this message. Someone's going to um, have some very exciting news. That's what I'm seeing. They might be texting you at this time and then that text is going to turn into a phone conversation. So it might be you're texting somebody and they say, oh, I've got this great news. I want to tell you something. And, oh, let's not do this over text. It's too long. We need to talk. And then you have this really nice conversation with them. And they have some really good news for you. That's what I'm seeing there. I know this sounds like this reading is all beautiful and lovely, but um, this is what I'm seeing. The end is anyway. So yes, Cancer, I hope this resonated. I truly hope this resonated because it ended up being a fantastic reading. But as you know, um, general readings can't always resonate, but I really hope this one did. And you know, they can also be reversed sometimes. That's what I often forget to say. And people come up in the comments and say, was it reversed? It was, it resonated, but it was in the reverse. So yes, it can be in the reverse. Um, if you're not sure what I mean by that, just comment, ask me in the comments and I'll try and um, answer you as quickly as I can. But yes, again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so much for watching.